This is an open collaboration with Cindy Squirrel Off Grid and Love the Land Every Day. Let's make an easy sourdough starter pizza. I'm using a cup of discard, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna give all that a quick mix. And then we're gonna heat up our oven to about 500 degrees with a cast iron pan. Take the pan out. Now put some type of grease in there. Be very careful when you do this because this pan is smoking hot, as you can see. I'm using bacon grease, but you can use whatever grease you like. I find that bacon grease gets this nice and crispy on the bottom and the sides, so that's what I'm using. Moving very quickly so your pan don't cool down, you're gonna pour in your discard, and then you're gonna pour in whatever sauce that you would like to drizzle on top. Be careful how much you put on top because you don't wanna make your dough soggy. Now you just put however much cheese you want to put on top and then pop your either pepperoni or whatever meat you like. Whatever toppings that you like. Just keep in mind the wetter the toppings that you put on this pizza, the longer it's going to take to cook. Ask me how I know. So on this one, I'm putting just pepperoni and cheese, but you could put like bacon bits and stuff like that on there and it won't affect the cook time. Now you're going to turn your oven down to 450 degrees and put your pan in the oven and cook for at least 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes is up, pull it out and let it rest. But what, what, And it's pretty much done. But what I did is I just topped mine with some extra cheese and I put it under the broiler for another two to three minutes to get the top nice and nice and crusty <laughs> crusty crusty and this is how it turns out it's it, this was actually very very delicious and this is like gonna be part of my rotational i'm really loving the sourdough discard um possibilities not only is this super easy, you I mean you don't have to roll out any dough, you just pop that dough right in the hot pan and it does all the cooking for you. This was excellent. These were so good that I actually made another one and then with this pizza I put like toppings galore on this one like pepperoni, tomatoes, onions. This one was extra delicious as well but if you put extra toppings and wet toppings on top of it you're gonna have to cook it a little bit longer thanks for watching guys have a blessed day